Right now I'm going to check up on my guys. I got two guys mowing. I got two guys doing uh, mulching around trees and redefining the uh, tree ring to get that, get that looking really good. I'm headed to my dealer right now to see about our bed redefiner. Uh, not sure if I'm gonna buy one, but I wanna, I wanna look at it and see if that's something I think I can use. Uh, we have a lot, a lot of trees that need to be done, so, uh, so yeah, that's something I, I want to go look at. But uh, right now, I want to talk about my other son, Tyson. Most of you guys, you guys know Tyler, and uh, Tyler's been mowing with me, helping me out for the last couple, couple years. He's got a couple yards that he does on his own, and uh, you know, like I said in the previous video, Tyler's a little bit preoccupied this summer with driver's ed. Uh, it's taken up a lot of his time studying and uh, and all that. So, little brother Tyson, I know that's going to get confusing, Tyler and Tyson. But Tyson, he's 13 years old. He uh, he came to me last week and he's like, "Hey, I can do this. You know, put me out there. I want to I want to make some money too." So, so we got him out there this morning. Uh, we mowed a little bit. He mowed one yard. He did very very well. Out in the heat and it's hot. So. Uh, so yeah, let's take a let's take a look at that. Tyler does have autism, but uh, you know he's pushing through it. And he's gonna, he's he's gonna be a fine young man, and uh, you know he's got a lot of a lot of potential. And Tyson, he's the same way. Uh, Tyson is diagnosed autistic as well. Uh, he is very very shy and un uncomfortable around people, uh, especially people he doesn't know very well. And that's something that uh, that he's battling through right now. Uh, smart smart young man. Uh, very very intelligent but uh, he's not not very good socially and uh, I'm trying to put him in situations to where he can get comfortable speaking and uh, get comfortable around people that he doesn't know because that's something he's just gonna have to deal with and one thing I've never ever talked about is me and my childhood and I honestly think that if I was born you know, 20, 30 years later than what I was, I'd probably be diagnosed autistic as well. Um, I kind of, I kind of know what my boys are going through. I have the same kind of feeling. I, I don't make eye contact very well. Uh, that feels very, very awkward to me. Uh, I do have a hard time uh, talking to new people sometimes, uh, especially in a business business sense. And I was actually talking with Stanley Genetic this morning. And uh, you know, I told him because because he he gave me some advice in a video a couple weeks ago where he says, you know, if you're not good at something, find somebody else that is good at it and let them do it. And I'm not a salesman. That's that's where I struggle at is selling myself, selling my company, selling jobs. And part of that reason is because I'm just I'm uncomfortable. I you know I get I get kind of flustered a little bit. And I really don't know what to say. So. And I, I think Tyson's kind of the same way, and I'm just trying to put him in different positions to where he can, you know, he can he can eventually get over that. So I just left my dealer. I wanted to just talk with him about a, a bed redefiner. Uh, he told me that Steel does not make a dedicated bed redefiner. I'd have to buy the combi system, uh, buy the power source, and then the attachment. Uh, I think it was somewhere around 550, 600 bucks, somewhere around there. But he did tell me Echo makes a just a dedicated product just for just a bed redefiner. It's like $600 as well. 
about the same price. Uh, what he what he's going to do though is he's going to call a pretty big company around here that does a lot of business with him because he's sold a couple to them in the last year or so and then basically just get some feedback for me. So uh, one thing I, you know, I want to ask you guys, if any of you guys use a bed redefiner, if you like it, how you like it, uh, if it's worth the money. And uh, I just kind of want to get some feedback because uh, I think that's something that we could use.